guys, I'm gonna try to get video of a frog. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. You think we should name him? I don't know if that's where he lives. I mean, yeah. maybe we should name him. Yeah, or it. Him, her, it. I don't know. I don't know how you can tell. <laughs> just casually standing there sitting actually and then he yep it'll just hop away good sunday morning I have my first trip in this five-day block i've been ready reserved for the past two days i was off two days before that and the day before that was my you know was the whole houston debacle so definitely much needed downtime Tonight I'm going to be in Nashville and I haven't been there in almost 15 years. I don't know what's changed, if anything's changed, but I'm very curious. I will finish my coffee and get ready. Check-in is at 7.15. I'm gonna try to be out of here by six and it's a Sunday morning, so hopefully there will be no traffic. I go from here to Boston, Boston to Newark, Newark to Nashville today, and then tomorrow Nashville to Houston, Houston to Newark, Newark back home. But I am the FAO2 position, which is great because that is less peopling for me. I am nearing my gate and I have just made it. It is 6.45, so check-in is in a half an hour because I know that if I had gotten random, I probably would have been here, oh, maybe, one or two minutes shy of checking. It is hot in here. It really is. It's really hot in this plane. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's not get stuck here for like seven hours. Boston right now. We're just sitting for about an hour. Hello. <laughs> so just doing a little video here. Little pairing change and it looks like we have a long sit hotel, which is good. It's four and a half hours that we are going to have to wait. I'm getting tired. Hopefully we can get the hotel right away so I can take a nap. Hi guys, I am in Newark right now and we were delayed about four hours and 45 minutes. The plane is still inbound for Mexico City. Uh, we have no idea why it was delayed. I don't know if it was a maintenance issue or not, but as far as the reason for the delay, nothing is showing up in the app. But we will find out once it gets here and we will try to get a little more information from the pilots. Unfortunately, going into Nashville now, we were originally supposed to land at 3.48 p.m. and it doesn't look like we're gonna get there until about 6.10. Now, I still want to go downtown, and the Uber is pretty cheap, and Broadway Street is not very far, and everything, it looks like everything closes at 3 a.m. And if that is the case, then I think I definitely will go downtown. That's yeah, actually a nicer view in the back. It's the first time I'm staying in a room towards the back of the hotel. Yeah, the other side faces the highway. I was just joking with my best friend a moment ago that if I get stuck in Newark, then I'm definitely going to book a Mormon tonight at 8. Not counting on that happening. Okay, let's get ready and let's try to go to Nashville. at the gate for a while and we are still delayed. We're delayed even more actually. It is hot. carpet in the airport is actually famous. And apparently in one of the shops, they have socks with the pattern. Oh. 
This is really nice. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hotel. Oh, finally made it to my room. And you know what that means. Room tour. So here are the two beds. I'm gonna be sleeping in this one. And throwing all my crap on that one. We have the TV, desk, coffee station. I'm sure there's a fridge underneath. And a couch. And a dining table. And a very small bathroom. The view's not too bad. Very pretty sunset. All right, so I'm going to change and then head downtown for dinner. All right, Uber confirmed. Here we go. In the national before. restaurant all red and I am starting with the fat bottom IPA it's really good mm. but I ordered the chicken fried steak and I'm looking forward to that that looks really good and I am sitting at the rooftop bar with really nice view behind me of the bridge and the Nissan Nissan Stadium's right there. The rooftop bar is a very chill environment. The band that you saw though, they are in the first floor, but I couldn't find a table in the first floor or second floor. The second floor was a one hour wait. So they told me to come up here and I actually like it. It's a lot quieter.
mean, for it to do that to me. Whew. Wow. Everybody, it is 11.51 and I just got home. I just got back. We almost timed out. I'm just gonna do a little bit of vlogging as I drive slowly through the parking lot because uh, once I get on the main road, I am not going to vlog. But we hit some of, some of the most severe turbulence that I have ever experienced in my life personally. So once upon a time, I developed a crippling fear of flying because I was riding an express jet from South Carolina back to Washington, DC, and we flew right through a severe thunderstorm. And I just became deathly afraid of flying for about 10 years and overcame my fear by becoming flight attendant, funnily enough. And today was just, it was worse than what I experienced in that severe thunderstorm. We flew through a cloud, it wasn't even a storm. I mean, it, we didn't directly fly into the storm, but we flew through a cloud that we hit unexpected severe turbulence. I was up, I was not in my jump seat, and I had to get down on the floor. Yeah, some of the trays were getting tossed. As you saw in the previous clip, the ice and that tray fell to the ground. It was just incredibly harsh and when I went to check on the other passengers, there were passengers that were in tears. A lot of them were just pale. I mean, it scared the crap out of all of us. That was just, yeah, that was the worst turbulence I've ever experienced in my life. And I know it's a part of the job. It's going to be a part of the job. I just hope that I don't, that that does not become the norm, that I don't experience that all the time. But I was afraid but I conquered my fear and I really, it did not, I, I'm not suffering any PTSD or anything due to that experience. It was just, yeah, I got through it and I, I feel okay to, to keep doing what I do and to keep flying. And again, I just hope I don't experience anything like that often or worse. All right, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Everybody have a good night and be safe out there. 